actually we use Google Pixel 6 Pro as virtual smartphone. Okay, let's open YouTube. How to install Android 13 emulator tiramisu on any computer? Is it possible? Today, I will find out. Hello everybody, you are on Andrei Mihailovi channel. Today, I'm going to install this emulator on my Lenovo ThinkPad laptop since 2013, which meet minimum system requirements of Android Studio. What is Android Studio and what are minimum system requirements? First, let's talk about my old laptop. It has 8 GB of RAM, SSD drive that have 120 GB and it has Intel Core i3 processor of third generation. Also, it has HD resolution and definitely nothing special about this laptop. So, let's get back to Android Studio. Android Studio is Google's official software for Android development. It is available for download on macOS, Windows and even Linux operating system. But today I'm only going to show you how to download it and install it on Windows. Before downloading and installing this software, your device must meet the minimum system requirements. You need to have 64-bit Microsoft Windows 8, 10, or 11. Also, your processor need to have x86-64 architecture, second generation of Intel Core or newer processor, or AMD CPU with support for a Windows hypervisor. 8 GB of RAM, 8 GB of free available space, and also you need to have HD screen resolution. Actually, this is the basic system requirements, but I noticed that you still need to activate virtualization in your BIOS. So you need to enter the BIOS, find this function and enable it. In my case, it was very important. So if your device meet the minimum system requirements, you could try to install it on your laptop or computer. But I want to mention one important thing. I make this video just to show you the real performance of this emulator and can it really runs on all the devices. Because on the internet I find a lot of information and a lot of video where people showing how to install this emulator and how to run it on all the devices. But today you will see how it work for real. I really have an old laptop, I will show you how to install it step by step. And finally, you can decide for yourself, do you really need to install this emulator? Also, I want to remind you that I have a really old laptop and if something will not work correctly or stable, it doesn't mean that you will have the same issues. Or if you have a newer device, probably everything will work much faster. The benefits of Android Studio that it has the latest Android updates so if we compare it to the Bluestacks emulator, they work probably on Android 9, 10, but we have opportunity to try Android 13. So it's mean that you can install and run Android 13 in the virtual smartphone. You have option for this. So the most important thing that you need to know, we're going to install Android Studio and also it will have AVD which means Android Virtual Device and this app will help us to run Android 13 Tiramisu from our virtual device. So probably we can create some smartphone like a Google Pixel 6 or Google Pixel 5. So actually this software makes specially for developers to make it more convenient to run other operating system and check if they work correctly. As I previously said, I want to be honest with you, so I'm making this video just to show you the real result which you can get if you install it on similar laptop. So let's get it started. So for the beginning we need to open our browser, in my case is Google Chrome browser, and then we need to type next. Android Studio and press enter. So this is the official website, here you may see Android Studio, system software, 
If we scroll down a little bit, you may see operating system, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, including Chrome OS, quite interesting. And here you may see developer, Google and JetBrains. And to be honest, I don't know who is JetBrains, but it doesn't matter. So here we need to click on the official website. All links will be in the video description. So guys, we are on the official website from which we can download Android Studio. Definitely everything is very easy. You just need to click here. And now you just need to scroll down, scroll down a little bit. And after that, you just need to check here. Voila. As you can see here, we see next message. Download Android Studio Dolphin 2021.3.1 patch 1 for Windows. Also, you can update the version of the program in the program. There is option for this. So now we just need to click here and wait until our program will be downloaded on our laptop or computer and as you can see it has 913 megabytes so this program has less than one gigabyte and definitely it's not so large so guys as you can see we already download our emulator and now we can click on it so now we just need to wait a few minutes Okay, here we see our first window and here you may see welcome to Android Studio setup. Definitely you need to click next. As I previously said, here you may see Android Studio and also it is very important to check Android virtual device because this option will help us to run Android 13 on virtual smartphone. Be sure that every option here is enabled and after that you need to click next. You may see Android Studio installation location and definitely I do not recommend to change the place where this program will be installed. So click next. Then you just need to click install and wait until all file will be installed on your computer. Installation complete, setup was completed successfully. Okay, after that we need to click next. As you can see this option is enabled so now we just need to click finish and the program will run automatically. Now you may see Android Studio Dolphin. So guys now very important stage so please pay attention. Right now you need to select do not import settings. Click here. OK. Loading process. So guys, in this window you see the next message, help improve Android Studio, allow Google to collect usage data for Android Studio. If you want to help to improve Android Studio, you can send information of your experience. So we will click don't send, but I want to remind you one important thing that I previously said, that it will be much better if you enable virtualization in the BIOS. So right now I will show you how to do it without any problem. I need to enter the BIOS. So to enter the BIOS on this model and I want to remind you that this is Lenovo ThinkPad L430 model, I need to press F1 key. But if you have another laptop you can check on the internet which key you need to press to enter the BIOS. So turn on the laptop and press F1 key. OK. As you can see, I successfully entered the BIOS. Here you may see specification of my laptop, Intel Core i3 of third generation, 8 GB of RAM. Don't mind if you see 2016 year because this is the version of the BIOS. Probably this BIOS was updated because this laptop since 2013. So let's get into it. If you have a specific BIOS, you may find this option. Virtualization. Press Enter. And as you can see, this option is disabled, so we need to enable it. This is very important. So some buyers have this option and some of them doesn't have this option. So this is a very important to enable this option if you have it in BIOS. So let's get back to our window. Click don't send. In this case, we also need to click on next. Install type. Choose the type of setup you want for Android Studio. So I recommend to select the first option, standard, and click next. So now you can select the dam, the dark mode, or the white mode. Actually, it doesn't matter. So I will select the dark mode, 
click next this is also a very important window so right now i recommend to have stable internet connection because right now it need to install a lot of necessary important updates and programs so we need to click next but previously you need to have stable internet connection so be sure that your internet is fine click next now you need to scroll down a little bit as you wish and click accept okay so all this option is available and now we need to select this option and also click accept okay after that we have option to click finish click finish now you need to wait until all files and components will be installed on your laptop or computer so you just need to wait so guys after all component downloaded and installed on your laptop or computer you may see the next window this window and as you can see everything is okay because previously i have some error and issue in this window because i don't enable virtualization in the bios but after i do this process everything start working fine so just enable virtualization in the bios okay after that you need to click finish and we are in android studio so to create a virtual smartphone you need to click here more actions click on it and now you need to find a virtual device manager this is very important and click on it as you can see we have pixel 3a okay we want to create another device so for this we need to click here create device in this window we can create a virtual smartphone from which we can run android 13 or android 12 or any other android it all depends on you so definitely pixel 6 pro have android 13 tiramisu so we need to click on it after that we can see some specification and the size of the screen after that we need to click next here you may see tiramisu and actually it is android 13 also you have option to download android 12 android 11 android 10 9 8.1 it all depend on you so in our case we don't need to download anything but if you want to download android 12 you need to click here on download option you see download icon just click on it but in our case we just need to click on tiramisu and after that we see funny android logo but we need to click next in this case we can name our device as we wish but i will leave all by default here you may see pixel 6 pro 6.7 inches and resolution of the screen another time here you may see funny android logo and tiramisu android tiramisu x86 64 if you click here we can select startup orientation but definitely i recommend to leave this option by default if we scroll down a little bit emulated performance graphics and right now we see that it select to automatic but if you have some problem or other issue i recommend to select this option software gles 2.0 but definitely i don't have any problem right now so i will select automatic and after that i will click finish and voila we create our virtual smartphone we are in the device manager and this is our smartphone that we create and this is the smartphone that we see previously by default pixel 3a but we are more interesting in pixel 6 pro so right now we need to click here and we will launch the smartphone so the virtual smartphone click on it now you need to give access to this emulator okay no problem now you may see android emulator and this icon so i will close this 
probably in this stage you may see the smartphone and right now it will work so we are waiting for Google logo and here I see message driver issue definitely I have installed the latest version of Intel HD graphic 4000 but I have the message that some user have experienced emulator stability issues with this driver version I could not do anything in this case so I will close this window so guys as I previously said you need to wait until Android 13 will run on this virtual smartphone and if you have an older laptop you need to wait more time that it usually takes if you have a newer machine it may take five minutes and if you have a very very old device it may take 10 minutes 20 minutes or even 30 minutes for the first time but if you have old potato and you still want to run this emulator on your device i recommend you have ssd drive and definitely it will work much faster so friends i still wait but i already have this message device manager time out after 300 seconds waiting for emulator to come online definitely it's mean that it take a long time to boot to the system menu so i will just close this window and i will still wait I think I wait more than 20 minutes and right now I see this process. Probably I need to wait another time 20 minutes and then we will go to the system menu. So definitely it is too slow, it is too long. If you want to run it on your old laptop, be ready that it may take a long time to load to the system menu. OK and it's just a reboot i see the same google logo and definitely it's just waste of time so guys the miracle happened i could run it but uh, without screen recording oh i understand it works very slow so i need to click one time okay i heard three clicks already so it works very very slow okay actually we use google pixel 6 pro as virtual smartphone okay let's open youtube how it work if we open youtube and we have another error message so we can uh, click here okay youtube is loading oh quite interesting we have opportunity and oh no 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 i just thought i just thought that everything was okay and we have uh, opportunity to go to youtube but no this simulator worked not stable on my old laptop so definitely i will close this up and i think it will be more than enough for today so guys as you can see it is what it is and to be honest the result is quite bad and i do not recommend to install this software if you have a really old device and if you have a newer device you can install it and run without any problem nothing complicated here but if we're talking about the best android emulator for gaming you still need to try bluestacks so video you can watch here about bluestacks emulator this is a really cool emulator you can play a lot of interesting games without any problem just install it and enjoy so definitely if you want to play games Android Studio is not the best solution. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it will really help me a lot. Also on my channel you can watch a lot of interesting videos and I will be glad if you watch all of them. Goodbye everyone, see you soon.